In this video, we're going to work through creating a team leaderboard with a couple of unique features, including the ability to select how many athletes you would like to display on your leaderboard, the ability to sort low to high or high to low, the ability to check which team you would actually like to have your leaderboard display, as well as a selectable dropdown to select which metric you want to display. This is going to be really powerful for anybody who's collecting data and just wants an easy way to display the top values. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and in order to get started on this, I'm just going to orient you to the sheet. The first thing that we have is our data. Now in our data, you'll see a few different columns here. We have our athlete name in column one, the date of that test in column two. In column three, we have the sport that they play. But if you were setting this up, if you wanted to look at your male or your female sports, this could easily be their gender, this could be um, the position they play or really anything that you would want to sort them by. And then throughout here, we have some different um, maxes that we might want to show a leaderboard on. Now, to get this project started, what we're gonna wanna do is just set up our sheet ahead of time so that when we start to type in our formulas, um, everything makes sense. So the, the topics or the headers that I like to put in my leaderboards would be like rank, athlete name, the date, and then the actual test. A couple things we might wanna sort by are low to high, and then for that we could put a checkbox in. So I'll just use insert and then put a checkbox in. So we'll just be able to check this, right, like that. And then if you remember from the intro, I had a spot up here where we were able to select from 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 athletes. So to do that, I'm just going to select this box here and go to data, data validation, and I'll choose a list of items. And in here, I'm just going to type in five comma, 10 comma, 15 comma, 20 comma, 25. And because I've just used a list of items, when I separate them by comma, it's going to just allow me to select any of those items. And let's just center that so that it looks better. Now, the next thing that we want to sort by is actually the team or the discernible quality. So for that, we'll go to this box here and select data, data validation, and we'll choose list from range. And when I go select data range, go to data, I can just choose that column and I wanna start it at C2 because I wanna start in the first um, group of data and hit okay. And when I hit save, the cool thing about data validation with Google Sheets is it will only show each unique value once. So we'll be able to select our team like that. And if I was to enter a new team, say lacrosse, that would be automatically selectable right away. And I would be able to just include that in my data. So let's go back to football. And then we're gonna do something very similar for our actual test that we want to select. So I'll go to data, data validation, list from range. And in this case, what I wanna do is select this row. So you can see that it's just selecting this whole row, but our data starts in D1. So we'll start D1 all the way to one, hit okay, save. And if I go back to my tab, I should now be able to select any of my data. Oh, you can see that it's made a quick mistake. Let me make sure. If you, if you can see here, it's just taken away the row. So if I hit save here, we should be have all of our values. So that's just a quick thing to check. Go back into your data validation and make sure that when you hit save, it doesn't take away the double dots one, which would signify that you want it to go all the way across that row. And the same way that we did before, if I was to take this data and insert a column and call it a sprint, sprint times, I would now be able to select that here and automatically start to sort based on that. Now I'm just gonna do a little formatting here. I'll just black this out and then make the text white and that just helps it stand out from some of the other things that we're doing, okay? So that's part one. That's how to set up the sheet that we're actually gonna use. Now part two is we actually need to filter out the values that match all of our selections. 
So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use a filter formula. So I'm going to select under athlete name and I'm going to type equals filter, open this up, and I'm going to want to put in three columns worth of data. So I'm going to need to use an array. So I'm gonna open a squiggly bracket and the first um, group of data that I actually want to select is just the athlete name and the date. So we're going to select A2 to B, okay? And then I'll go back and it's closed off my brackets, but we'll keep this formula going. Comma, the next piece of data that I'm going to want to select is we need to match now for this value here, which is currently set to sprint time. So we're going to use an index. So I'm going to type index, open this up, and I want to search in my data. So we'll go A2 all the way to G, comma, and I want to find the um, column where what I've selected matches the header. So to do that, I'm gonna go double comma and then match, open that up, and I want to match for the value that I've selected, which is in D2 open that up and I want to match that in my headers. So D1 to one, and then I'll hit false to because those are not sorted in any discernible way. Go back to my video. It's still giving me an error because we haven't finished off this formula. But if I put in the end of the brackets there, that'll um, finish off my array. Now I want to do this in a couple of different conditions. So that's all of the data we want to filter out. We want to do this under the condition of the first one being when the athlete name does not equal zero. So we know that athlete name is stored in data A2 to two, or sorry, A2 to A, and does not equal is two um, arrows open up towards each other, and does not equal blank means double quotations. If I hit enter here, you can see now we get all of our values. And if I were to change this to bench max, we'll get our bench maxes as well. So that's our first condition. The second condition, however, is when, this is where we, we match for the sport, when um, the um, value that we've selected does not equal zero two. So if you remember, we can find that column using this index match, and I'm gonna type that in there, and when that does not equal zero. Mm -hmm. So let's go back here. And if you remember the bench missing a bunch of values, now it's only going to show the three that actually have values. The sprint times are gonna show an NA because they don't have any values. Now the third condition, and this is the one where we'll match for the actual team, and we'll do that when data C2 to C, because that's where we've stored that, is equal to the sport that we've selected. So in this case, football. Now when I hit enter, it just gives me the athletes that are selected for football versus the ones that are selected for lacrosse. Okay, so that's how we filter out all of the values that we want based on our selections. Now the next part, to make this actually a top 10 list or a top 25, 15, whatever, we have to sort these values. So what I'm going to do is in front of this filter formula, I'm going to use a formula called sort n. So I'll type in sort, n open that up and it's going to ask me what my range is this whole filter formula is the actual range so i'll go right to the end and hit comma now it's going to ask me n for how many values i actually want to display well we already have that worked out and that's in this um, cell up here a1 if i go back to my formula open it up the next thing it's going to ask me is displays ties mode. If we open that up, it's going to tell us that a number representing the way to display ties. That is an optional um, enter, but we're going to give this false. Then the next thing it's going to ask me is, is, the, um, is this ascending? And we're gonna use this to select whether it's ascending. So C1, low to high versus high to low. And then the last thing it'll ask me is, what is the column that you want me um, to sort by? So the sort column, in this case, it's going to be, um, sorry, we were, 
a little bit ahead of ourselves. Instead of the ascending story, we have the sort column in here. Then it's going to ask us whether it's ascending or not. And I'll close this whole thing off and hit enter. And now you can see all of our data is sorted versus if we select low to high, high to low, you can see how that works. So just one more time to walk you through that. Sort n, our range is this whole filter formula that we put together. The first thing it's asking for is how many do we want to actually show? Then our display ties mode of false. Then it's going to ask us what column we want to sort by. In this case, we want to sort by our squat max. So it's one, two, three. And then whether the values are ascending and that's where we select low to high versus high to low. And when I hit enter, you can see now we have that done. If I were to select football, you can see how that changes our range. Now the last piece of this puzzle is just to include a rank here on the side so that it shows whether that athlete is ranked one, two, three, four, et cetera. So how we're gonna do that is we're going to use the formula rank. So I'm gonna type in rank, open that up, and I want to look at D3 all the way to D27 because I know I'll never have more values than that. And I wanna rank by that one, D3 to D27, open that up, and then the, um, the value is ascending, we're going to select C1 again, that's never going to change. So we will lock that in, close that off, and when I hit enter, it'll give us a value of one. Now if we want this whole thing to go all the way down, if I wrap this in an array formula, open that up, and then close it off at the end, hit enter, you can see now it gives us our, our um, ranks all the way down with a bunch of errors. So to clean that last piece up, we'll wrap this whole thing in an if error, open that up, and then comma at the end, double quotations, and hit enter, and that cleans up all of our errors. Let's just center all of these to make it look a little nicer, and there you have it. That's a quick and easy way that we can um, put together just a top 10 list that now we can select from any number of athletes that we want, as well as a sport or anything else that we would want to match by. So I hope this video helps you out. And if it does, if you could please like and subscribe to the channel, that would really help me out and help me continue to keep this channel growing. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.